I was born in the low country. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm Frank Roberts. I own Ladies Island Oyster. Uh, we produce premium single oysters for the half shell market here in South Carolina. You know, we've been at it for about 10 years or so and uh, we're getting ready to uh, start up the hatchery. So we'll be bringing in our brood stock and we'll be spawning in our hatchery. Last year we spawned uh, 4 million oysters. And the impact of our waters is uh, 3 inch oyster filters about 50 gallons of water a day. So 4 million times 50, that's 200 million gallons of water we're filtering every day. We basically have no carbon footprint. So now we're in the hatchery with Julie Davis. Can you tell me what goes on here? Sure, Chris. Um, this is where everything starts. So we spawn the oysters in here and we raise them up as little babies until they're ready to be settled to the bottom. So there's eight, eight tanks here in this hatchery, which uh, gives us a capacity per spawn to hold about 10 million animals. Okay, so once the oysters reach five millimeters in size in the nursery, they're ready to go out to sea. They go into this bag right here. There'll be about 5,000 oysters in each one of these and we slide it into the cage like this. Once the, once the majority of the oysters in that bag are big enough um, to go to retain on, the, and on this bag, they get moved up into this bag. And we grade them using a machine called a, a grader or a tumbler, and, and that allows us to have the big ones move up to this size, and we put the smaller ones back in the smaller one. Frank and Julie, thank you for letting Ryan and I come out and experience Lady Island Oyster today and to show our guests the faces behind the world's number one oyster. 